All right, I thought I'd just do a quick video on uh, five uh, favourite bits of kit I've got in my uh, outdoor arsenal. So let's get into that. So I've chosen five bits of gear and we shall begin in no particular order. Okay, so we'll start with the, uh, the Mora Knife uh, Companion Heavy Duty. This is the stainless version. And they're about 15 quid retail. And you can often get them cheaper, but yeah, it's I just love the, the shape of the blade. It's not heavy. I can, uh, you know, if I'm going to a boffy or something, whack it in my pack without weighing myself down. Stainless, so I don't have to worry too much about it getting wet. And it will handle, you know, light battening duties, and as long as you're not trying to, you know, put it through a eight inch knotty bit of oak or something. Um, so treat it with a bit of care, but you can batten, batten a bit with it. And uh, yeah, if it breaks, it's 15 quid, not 150. So yeah, pretty good and reasonably priced as well. So there's that. Next up is my old uh, MSR Titan kettle, and I've had this probably oh, I don't know ten years, maybe maybe longer than that. And yeah, titanium. It's enough for uh, cooking for backpacking. Also, it's been on fires, loads. It's still going strong, and pretty come pretty much comes with me on every uh, backpacking trip, certainly. Every time I'm brewing up, obviously, you know, there's not much to it. It's a pan stroke mug stroke kettle, but uh, yeah, definitely a favourite of mine. Bit pricey at 55 quid, but you can get cheaper ones like um, Tokes do them. I think you know, it's almost half a price, I think, or Elk Kit, but uh, yeah, it's it's a titanium pan so you know they're all, all good it's more of a concept really rather than a particular model but uh, I do do a two litre one of these as well which I'd like to get but uh, I don't don't need it at the moment more for when I'm camping with other people and that's now and then to be honest so yeah another favourite so a new favourite of mine is this firebox nano it probably might have seen it in a few videos. Brilliant little twig stove. It's fairly light, it's not that, I can't remember the exact weight, but they do a, a Thai version. Yeah, let's squig that around. Do a Thai version as well. But it's another 30 quid. I think it's about it's cost me about 50 quid. It does come with some accessories as well, it's a pity, I don't think in Britain you can get it without the accessories and save yourself a bit of money, but uh, I've got the big one as well, but, but uh, yeah, the little one's handy on day hikes, I just love the concept, to, you know, you can still have a fire but not make too much mess, the, the drawer on it's really good, and yeah, it just folds Falls flat when out of use. Okay, so the firebox comes with this tin, and in that you've got a charcoal kind of mat. These bits so you can use to prop the mat up as a windbreak, and then these little arms so you can put a, a mess burner in the firebox. And the tin opens up, and you can either use that as a windbreak or you can use it as a stand for the firebox stove but most of the time I leave I leave it at home to be honest but yeah it just fits in there and the legs go in the grooves like so and I'll show you it with the uh, the mess burner in there so there we go with the mess burner in there that's just off my mini Trangier so I haven't used it like this because yeah I've got a mini Trangier pot support so it's lighter than this set up but uh, it's there if you want it. Yeah so the little arms just go through the corners there. I'll 
so Okay, next I got me Granite Gear Vapor Trail backpack. It's what I generally use most of the year, unless it's a, a multi day sort of winter trip. It weighs about a kilo and uh, can take the weight pretty well despite only having a, a flexible frame. Um, it's pretty minimal on free features, I'll just uh, put the camera down and we go through those. Okay, so it's basically one main compartment. You've got your big stretchy pockets on the side, and then you have a big extendable sort of head collar for when you've uh, got loads of, uh, you know, like an extra food, so I don't to go down after a period of time. And that is pretty much it. It's just a very simple. Very simple back, it's like a foam back with a, a bit of plastic stiffener in there, but it carries the load pretty well. It's getting very tired, I've had to repair the hip belt a few times, but it is about, I mean I've had this since about 2004, so it's done pretty well, for, especially for a lightweight pack, so I'll probably get the... Uh, newer version of that unfortunately it's pretty much doubled in price since I bought this I think I paid about 80 to 100 quid for this the new one's about 230 but there you go I suppose I'll get my money's worth out of it but we use this for a bit longer but yeah cracking bit of kit okay next got my Arcturex Beta AR jacket this is the uh, I don't generally wear this around locally, but more when I go to the mountains, especially in winter. It costs a fair bit at the time, it's about 350 quid, which is about 100 quid more than I wanted to spend. And now it's more like 450, so we'll see if I get another one when uh, this wears out. It's getting a bit tired, but it'll still, uh, still be alright. But the, uh, the main bonus is that Apparently, I've got quite big shoulders, so that's why a lot of jackets uh, weren't big enough around the shoulders. They bind all the time, even with uh, not many layers on. So this is nice and square in the shoulders. So it's a plus for me. And it's a nice cheery colour, especially in a in a whiteout. Keep the old motivation up. Not so much uh, for bushcraft, but uh, I'll stick it on and uh, model it a bit but uh, yeah the uh, autofocus on this camera winds me up a bit so <laughs> we'll see how that goes anyway okay so there's my jacket it's reasonably ruby cut without being too baggy two waterproof chest pockets waterproof front zip have a small bit of backing in case anything gets through there. So far nothing has, unless I've been venting. Uh, it's got a little inside pocket. And that is pretty much it. Just about. Here's the drop towel. So nice and roomy for my seemingly big shoulders. And a massive hood. Uh, the downside, I'd like it a bit longer, it's just about long enough and the hood is designed to go over a climbing helmet but it is massive so it's a bit of a bit of a mission to keep that battened down when you're, you know, when you're just wearing a hat but uh, otherwise, thumbs up, just really expensive but <laughs> I have had it a fair while now, probably eight years maybe, maybe in that region. So will I get another one? Depends how flush I am with the cash at the time. 450 is a bit steep.